What's up guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over two unlimited fish spots, one of them being unlimited smallmouth bass. I'm Bandit Barney bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead 2 and Red Dead Online. And in the spirit of today's video, we're launching our new merch, recycled content t-shirts that look like this. If you want one, you can pick one up in the description below. Without further ado though, let's dive in and go to our first spot, which is going to be south of Manzanita Post. You got it right here. You're gonna be on the lower Montana River and we're gonna head right to this little niche right underneath the a so we're gonna head right there make sure you pick yourself up a deer pronghorn coyote some sort of carcass you're gonna need that because this is a carcass method in fact both of these that we're gonna be going over are this first one isn't the unlimited small bath bass although that is something that I think we can get there um, the second one is the one that's going to be that smallmouth bass, which is nice because I want that money, boy. All right, we're pulling up on the spot, and there's actually deer that spawn right out here. I'm going to, oh, gosh, that was a missed shot. Oh, right through the head. Let's get this deer one more. It's not, oh, wait, that was it. That was a kill shot. All right, so I'm going to use a deer instead of a pronghorn because I think it's just going to be a little bit easier. Good thing they spawn right outside your spot. Oh, it's a three star. Almost want to just skin it. That's all right. We'll use it. We'll skin her later. All right, so let's throw this sucker back up on it because I'm not the strong man that can walk around the whole map with this deer in my hands. And we're going to come right over to this little spot right here. It's very, very noticeable on the map. And when you get here, you can tell that there's this little triangle spot. And we're going to put the deer's head right into that tip of the triangle. And it'll get the fish to start heading over there. Now, this spot is one where we're going to do a little bit of running around to make this work a little bit better. So let's see it. Pull this back a little bit. That was too far. We, you just want to get the head in the water. Nothing more. Nothing less. Let's try this again. Um. Okay, decent enough. Okay, so you can see we got fish right here. Let's tell uh, Genghis, get the hell out of here. All right, so we're gonna just chill, stop walking around, and these fish are gonna start moving over towards the deer. Now, once they move over towards the deer, what we're gonna wanna do is start running in the water and getting them to fall up on shore. Some of them will just automatically kill themselves, but some of them we're gonna need to run and get them to run up on shore. Do they smell the deer? Did I put them in the right spot here? All right, I'm gonna adjust the deer a little bit. I'm gonna try and come at it from a different, uh, from a slightly different angle here. Because it looks like they're getting stuck up over there on the bank. So let's just pull her back here and plop her down like this. Now, if the fish don't like that, they don't like deer. And we know the fish like deer. There we go. Now they're starting to head over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We just need a little bit more in the water. And we can see, look at all these guys coming up on over here. So when I run in the water, we're not going to just specific, we're not going to try and run directly at the fish. But there's actually a little route you can take here, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you. Just run over here and run up onto this rock, okay? And then once you're up on this rock, then you can run right across like this. And hopefully as we do that, some of these fish are gonna kill themselves up on the shore. You see, there they go. So when we run specifically that route right there that I just showed you, that's when we get some of these fish to come up on the shore. Rock bass here. And I'm just gonna, instead of picking these guys up right now, I'm gonna wait for the second rotation of these guys, these fish to come in. Where's all these water blips going? All right, then we're just gonna run back up on this rock and then run across. Don't need a sneak. We're not grabbing the fish out of the water and then see how they just run up like that. So now we got all our pick rolls. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do, let's do a little snatch right here. We're gonna pick these boys up. We got some bass here, so I'm just gonna give it one more run again. Try and get them over. Oh, and then across. And there they go up on the shore. That definitely is the best route you want to run when you're doing this because for some reason, the fish just could ride right up on the shore when you do that. So we're going to get that guy in our pocket. Let's get this guy in our pocket. Now this one, we're just going to, it looks like we're just getting the rock bass. You could probably throw your lure in. Is that, there's some small mouse right there. So we can get some small mouse, but they're a little bit less common. I'm going to, I'm going to walk away and let these guys swim in there for a second. And look here, we got our, I think this, yeah, we got a, oh, large mouth. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Then we got one just floated up by my deer. Hopefully we can pick that up without. Nice, got the bluegill there. Is there other fishes here? There was, it looks like there was a lot of options for pick up here. All right, well we got, oh, and a, and a trout. So it looks like we're gonna be getting the trouts, the bass here. I'll do one more to see if we can get some of these more costly fish. 
these fish that are worth a little bit more and then we'll move on to the next location and in the water right here is a few more but you guys get the gist you can hit this so that's gonna i'm gonna call it quits for that one let's pick up or here let's let's skin this deer actually because then our next spot what we're going to be using is we're going to use a coyote or fox you're going to want something a little bit smaller for our next spot let's get my horse over here okay so the next spot we're going to be going to is north of blackwater and the famous original spot was right here but if we actually just go right over here we can max out on those smallmouth bass so we're going to head right up over there Make a pit stop by the butcher, sell this deer, get that money. Okay, now we're pulling up on our second spot, which like I said, is right above Blackwater, right here. Now we want a medium sized animal, but we don't want a deer. You want something smaller like a coyote or a fox. And fortunately for us, there's actually foxes that will spawn up north of this area. Hopefully we can find one as we pull into here. You wanna keep your ears peeled for that little yipping sound that the foxes and the coyotes make. Let's see, let me grab one. Sometimes they spawn here, sometimes they don't. If they don't spawn here, you can just do a little riding around and you'll find one eventually. You ride up north and then come back down south and they'll generally spawn around in that area. There they are. All right, so we, get, we found ourselves some coyotes and they're just around this area. You ride around in a couple circles, you'll find them. So get one of these guys, put him on the back of the horse, and then we'll head over to the spot. Ooh, I shot him through the butthole and he's still three stars. Nice. Quality, quality. Okay, we're getting closer to the spot. And one warning with this spot is that this spot can work well and you can get a lot of large and smallmouth bass, but the placement for the coyote or fox that you're using is really, really finicky. So in the perfect spot it's going to work really really well and if it's not the perfect spot then what's going to happen is you're going to end up having a bunch of fish there but they're either not going to be attracted to the coyote or they're not going to die when when they they're not going to naturally uh die when they swim up on board so pay attention to the placement i get here and we'll try and get a good one if not what we can do is the same method we did pre in the other spot which is run to kill these guys so we're going to come up here and you want to drop them right about here actually i think we're going to want to go in a little bit farther and our goal is to get those fish right there to come up on this ground here and kill themselves so let's see i'm going to go a little bit farther in here oh i think we had we ha i think we were on to something there okay so we got it we got them in place and now we're going to ride or ride we're going to run back around here and see if we got them in enough of that spot to get them in and when we come over on this side we can tend to get a little bit more fish to spawn in if we just pace a little bit over here we can see the fish are definitely attracted right now to the coyote is it far enough back so okay so maybe a tiny bit farther back and they would get to die but the thing is is that too far back and they don't show up so you want to get it in that spot and just in that right right niche of an area um, and if, if you just don't quite get the right niche, what you can do is like we did previously, which is just walk up over here, hoping to get a little bit more of those fish showing up there. We got one right now though, and you can just give this a run across. All right. I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull this guy back a little bit. I'm going to pull him back a little bit because we're just a little bit too far in there. So really the placement you're looking for is off to the left. You want to look at those rocks. And we're working on a placement comparative to those rocks and it's almost even with those rocks i might be too far in again we're just on the cusp there and i'm going to give it another run across we got one here unfortunately it was only the bluegill we can get the we can get the bass but the bass come really really well when you get the right placement the running across does work a lot better in the other spot let's try and get that perfect placement right now though i, I, I think we're just a little bit off a little bit too far forward that is the one downside to this area is that that placement has to be just picture perfect. This side of the pond is can be super finicky, but it works really well when it does work. Unfortunately, it, it can be really hard to hit that picture perfect spot here. Instead of just going for that picture perfect spot, what we can do, which is right in that area, what we can do is we can come right over here. And if we just stick the fox in right here in between these two rocks 
this spot will work to get the fish to head up there and then since it's it's since it's in that little kind of crevice area like we've done before or in the in the previous spot once the fish get up there we just run across and it, it'll they'll shoot up on the shore and we can grab them that way and you don't want to let them sit on your coyote or fox for too long because then they swim away they're not interested anymore so we got a couple over there we're just going to go like this boom 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 and look at here we got our red fin and our pickerel oh rock bass okay and i think we got one more guy on that died right by the fox let's get that rock bass and we can pull back and i'm i'm hoping we can get some of those smallmouth the smallmouth come much better when you're on that other side but it, the placement there is so touchy feely in this spot you're gonna get like three four fish each time attracted and then you just give her a sprint across and they're gonna end up going on to the shore yeah i'm not gonna wait any longer i'm just gonna give it a run across and there we go two more rock bass oh largemouth okay largemouth not smallmouth worth the same though and that is how this spot works you can work this whole edge if you want to there's some areas up there that you can work this spot right here that's really really finicky if you get that to work you're gonna get a bunch of small and largemouth bass to come around right in here and they'll come up on shore and die i i've been able to get it once but i've filmed this now twice and i haven't been able to get that spot there uh while filming it's really really touchy but if it doesn't work exactly for you then you can just do it like this and just do your sprints across once again guys if you want to pick up our recycled content t-shirts we just launched them uh would love the support if that's something you're into link will be in the description down below thank you for stopping by appreciate you and until the next time we'll catch you later